Hey guys, this is Nico Fry Games here. Today I'm gonna go over the uh, I'm gonna go over the basic uh, the basic cutter for right now, and maybe tell you guys how to uh, begin the game. Um, once you begin the game, I highly recommend doing the tutorial. The tutorial will help you a lot in this game, like with square riggers, gunnery, sailing. But we all do that. In a different video, because we're not doing a uh, square rigger yet. But once you start in the game, you're gonna want the first thing you want to do is save up money. So the money right here is uh, right here reels. I've got a lot of them. But the way you make reels is either do bounties, do your combat missions. So like down here, port quests. You can either do cargo deliveries, which gives you more money. And then you can do passenger deliveries. What you really want to do is do uh, passenger deliveries. So, like, go down here and grab a passenger and then just sail across the map and get yeah, as much money as possible. Because then you're gaining experience. You're learning how to uh, sail on the map. So let's say, uh, let's say we accept this mission right here to uh, the passengers Cryus Champman, and we're gonna sail to the destination is Lori Mers. So let's take the mission, confirm it, and then now we're gonna try and find that where we're at. We're at Mormir Town, which is the pirate town press M and we're gonna try and find out where it's at it shouldn't shouldn't be too far because it's only 8,000 but let's try and find it and what you what do you can do if you're having trouble finding it on the map so let's go back and try and spell it out so Lori Mers, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back to the map, go to the port and country search, and then we're gonna look up Lo Lom Airs. The Mares Lori Mers. Lloyd Mers, which is Turks, and there's there's our port. Look over there. It's actually right near here. So we would take our ship, our basic cutter, and go all the way around here. So that's how you would do uh, starting out with uh, the economy missions. And then as you progress, right here, this is your rank. Right here. This determines whether or not you have enough crew to crew the uh, ship you have. I have, my leadership is uh, right here. I can crew up to 500 people on a ship, which allows me to get to ships like, like this. So the amount of crew you have determines what kind of ship you can sail in. So if I go here, and it will tell me the Minimum crew that I need is 188 to sail this ship, which is the Vapen von Hamburg. You can get actually ships like this, but we're not going to worry about that. And uh, in the basic cutter, which is the basic ship, pretty much it's 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 pretty speedy, it's pretty quick, but you you have only three pounder guns, which are not really that good out of all the uh, seventh race in the game. But it is, it's a decent ship. It goes pretty fast. Ferry a couple uh, passengers, and then you can have enough for another seventh rate, which I really, highly, highly recommend. I highly recommend the uh, Privateer, which is a different... It's a different seventh rate, but it is a way better ship, though. It's a way better ship. So, uh... 
here's your doubloons, your money chest. So, like, if you do other missions, like so, go to battle. If you kill this guy right here, rank 7, you'll get 49 doubloons. And f doubloons give you diff different stuff. So, you can actually sell them too for money, your chests. But your important thing is right here. This is your most important thing is your rank and how much uh, reels you got. And you can also craft if you want to. You can craft uh, ships also. But I don't really do that. I'm a pirate. What a pirate, what you should do is raiding trader ships. So like traders brigs, lost gravanters, and uh, trader snows. You want to be attacking them to get more cargo. But uh, down here in the tab, this is your tavern right down here. This, uh, you can talk to people in chat, your friends. And right here, the navy. This is your navy screen. So you can you can see all the different ports of what types of ships that you have. Mormir Town is my basic, is my main main port. So uh, I have all my ships, my, my snow, my little resume, all my other ships that I got in the game. I'm in the PvE PvE server, but you can play PvP if you want, but uh, depends what you want. This is your warehouse. This stores all the stuff you can have, so like, have your, have your upgrades, cannons, cargo, doubloons, you name it. You can have all, all of it in here. So, then right here, right here is the shop. The shop you can look up uh, cannons. Now there's a difference between medium guns, long guns, carronades, and mortars. I'm not too sure on mortars, but uh, on medium guns, these are the uh, guns. These are the basic guns that you get. They are, they're accurate, but they're not as accurate as the long guns. So like, they're kind of like in the sweet spot of cannons right here. So, the long guns have more accuracy, but they do less damage, though. So, that's what they do. So, let's look at the uh, the difference here. Let's look at the 6-pounder long gun. It does 46 damage, caliber 6, 30-second reload. It is more accurate. Because longer barrel means more accuracy. Then let's go to the six pounder. See, it does more damage, but it's not as accurate. So I like using medium guns. They're my most favorite. Carronades. Carronades are, uh, they do the most damage, but they're the less accurate. So I barely use carronades. I should be using some carronades, but it doesn't matter. Here's all your upgrades. You can pick all the upgrades that you want. Borders. Wind. All these rig refits. So where you put the upgrades is right here. You can put all the upgrades right here. And then consumables. Which are really important. The really important consumables that you want are rum, hull repairs, and rig repairs. So like, let's say you're in a battle, right? And you need to heal up. You can actually use these in battle. The hull repairs and rig repairs. All you have to do is press 5 and press 1, I think, on the uh, on the key on the uh, keyboard. But that's about it. Permits. I don't really care about the permits. Resources. These are all the resources that you can buy and you can trade these right here. So, like... On the trade ships that you can go out and raid if you're a pirate, which I highly, highly recommend, you can take their uh, cargo and sell it for an even bigger profit. So, but if you want to, this is where you would find all your uh, cargo and sail to a port and grab more money. Here's all of our marks. Doubloons. I usually try and sell doubloons when they're at the highest price so you can get, you know, 500 grand without even trying. It's pretty nice. And then books. 
actually help give you bonuses, so, like, but it depends what ship they're for. Like, crew, survivability, gunnery, speed, and turn, and boarding. Alright, so, that's kind of it for the basic tutorial of this game, so, like, you can go out, do conquest missions, operations, events, journal. This actually shows you where all your missions at. So like let's say journal, you have one mission, you can do this mission right here. Now right here, this is how you actually put the crew onto the ship. So 40 out of 40, I have 462 crew, 68, I already have enough. This is where you repair. This is where you look up the stats of your ship and compare and contrast of what you want. This is your cargo. This is where uh, you can uh, put all your upgrades and repairs at. Now for the basic cutter, it is actually, you can actually get this for free. So if you lose it, no biggie. Admiralty, you can get upgrades for doubloons if you want. Books, exchange, PVE exchange. So you can get all these for like the balloons, which I think is pretty cool. Live oak, I think, is pretty profitable. It's one of the most profitable things you can get. Permits, exchange, blueprints, and PvP rewards. Alright, now since we went over all the basic tutorials... Now we're going to actually go into battle and uh, show you the different types of uh, shot that you can use in the in battle. So we're going to go out into the open world and we're going to uh, go into a battle. So let me see which one is the best target for me. The Lynx. Let's go. We're going to go attack this Lynx. The Lynx is also there. There's the Privateer. That's another ship you can grab right after this. I highly recommend the Privateer because it's my favorite one out of all of them. Oh, we're in the shallows again. God damn it. Now what these ships, these uh, seventh rates are, they're called fore and aft riggers. Which means the sails are, uh, you know, parallel to where your ship is going. And this does have a square rig up at the top, but that doesn't really matter. Oh, we're getting stuck again. God damn it. This is a really cool game, though. Like, I highly, highly recommend if you're like a... If you like sailing ships, this is the game for you. So we're going to go attack that Lynx, which is farther ahead. There is a frigate right there. Yeah, and as you go up, you get into more powerful ships, but this is, like, the first ship you get, and I didn't really like it. I didn't really like the, uh, the cutter at all. It was just kind of, like, it's a tutorial boat, so. Um, not mine, but we're gonna go up and attack this, uh, Lynx and show you how to combat it. No, I don't usually sail fore and aft riggers, so I might be a little rusty on them, but they're they're pretty small, fun ships to play, though. There is the Trancomalee, the mighty Trancomalee. Okay, we're almost up. Okay, so right before you get into battle. You want to know where the sails are going, because the sail could uh, determine the outcome of the battle. So if you're going into the wind, you actually dictate the the uh, b dictate or, or control most of the battle. If you're sailing against the wind, you need to go with the wind and try and uh, grab control of the battle. Because if you're uh, behind, oh man, well. Oh shit, this guy's gonna die, so uh, 
as you can see right here on the bottom left that's your compass that also shows you uh, your sails your crew and where your higher your sails are uh, down if they're damaged and then on the upper left those are your it shows your guns if you have any leaks or and your uh, health bar and then on the uh, right so like say if you want to fire right here that shows you where you're gonna fire at now it's kind of tricky how the uh, aiming works cuz like you know it's not stable all the time you kind of have to wait to see uh, when the perfect time to shoot is and we're firing from the bow from the bow first and if you press one you can choose chain shot grape shot and double shot I usually use chain shot sometimes to damage the sails and then use the uh, grape shot to destroy their crew and sometimes some of these ships have stern and bow chasers this ship the lengths does not it only has four cannons to be honest I don't I would not buy the Lynx. I might use it as a uh, cool ship but like it only has four cannons so it's kind of it can kind of be a little underwhelming oh my god those are those are the big boys right there I man oh he missed so let's turn left and we're gonna fire from the stern get our range in right there that's where we want it we got some good hits in there we go oh he's stuck in the wind it's a little rainy in this battle so let's get into it now five if you want repairs you press five you can have repairs up if you want oh ooh we got some hit they got some hits in turn left and those on the bottom right that tells you how much crew is on your sails repair party guns and injured Right, so we're sailing right there. You gotta wait. Get our range in. It's about right there. Oh. We we missed that shot. We missed it. Oh man, those ships of the line are scary. Stern. Fire from the stern. Ooh, he's getting he's getting good hits in. Wait, wait. Oh no! Yes, we got him. We're getting really good hits in. Oof, we're going against the wind. This one. Turn the sail to the right. The four. Four rigger right there. Oof. Why am I slowing down? Do I have a leak? Oh, there we go. Now we're gaining speed. Those ships are having trouble. See, like how they're sailing against the wind. That's what I was talking about when you want to control or dictate the battle on your own terms so it's kind of behind me with that little oceans getting close to the battle he got my rudder so I can't steer as good oh, oh, oh come on come on come on
Oof. All right, so now let's let's load a chain shot on the left, so you can see what that looks like. He's gonna get hit hard. Uh oh. All right, now we got chain shot. Take out his sails. That was very weak, but that's what that looks like. Now we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to uh, cannonballs for now. Oof. Ooh, he's getting hit hard. Ooh, the ocean's gonna give him. Oh no. Oh my goodness. I did not mean to have all these big ships around, by the way. That was like totally by accident. There we go. We're yes, we got good hits in. He missed. He straight up missed. Oh, train another train column is on my left. Oh my goodness, he is getting destroyed. Oh no. That poor man. There we go. Well, it looks like he's going to die pretty soon. There it is. Oh. Fire. Yep. And then to board, you can press the 9 button. No load up how much crew that you want to board. Then you can actually board the ship. If you want to capture a ship, I'll go over that later in another tutorial video. But this is just a basic tutorial of what you need to know when you get into the game, like how to use. Uh, how to use different sh types of shots when you're battling. Whether you're in a fore and aft rigger, I'm doing the basic cutter for right now. But oh my god, that guy just got destroyed. And then what type of missions you want to do. And then how to make money. Because uh, these naval action videos are actually doing pretty good out of all my videos so far. They're Doing pretty consistent, so. Oh man, he's sinking. He is sinking badly. He's not gonna make it. He is. He is hella dead. Oh, they're all they're all firing on him. Dang. He has no health, and they're still shooting at him. Oh no. Alright guys. Uh, I didn't mean to have all these big ships here. Um, that's going to be the end of the tutorial video. I hope you liked it. And uh, hopefully I'll get another... Uh, I'm probably going to do... Uh, more tutorials on like fore and aft riggers later later on and then maybe start doing sh actual ship reviews so 
I can actually recommend ships to you. Alright guys, I'll catch you next time.